Oh god! That could have gone better. So, I finally made it to the Pakistan base. Affirmative. And this is where I'll find him? Is this really it? Affirmative. Well, can you check? Affirmative. Y you know what? Just. Just got ahead. Affirmative. I'll just check my notes here. Hope they survived the ride. Huh. Uh, took you long enough. Hey, this job is hard, okay? Got a lot of information to find. Whoa! What happened to your voice? What? You don't have a Russian accent anymore. I can't do a Russian accent, so I sound like this. What? What did you want anyway? Right. What am I doing here again? Uh as you know, our trunk is working with Sundowner, and we stopped sending the child soldier brains. Uh huh. And we have reason to believe that Armstrong is planning to go through with the operation in his base. Doesn't look very hidden to me. Your job is to figure out if that is the base that Armstrong is in. Okay. And how am I supposed to do that? This graph shows the specific electrical current that we are looking for. How does this help? After some research, we concluded that only a few places can have this current. We are working fast to find it, but don't have much time. So, you want me to help with the search? And once you find it, give us the equation of graph. What? Why? So we can start devising a plan. How? Just do it. Got it. Right and out. How do I do that? What? How do I do that? Aren't you a high-tech cyborg? Yeah, but... How do I do that? You should have an electrical current finder in the pod. Use it to make a graph. Yeah, about that. Did you crash the pod? I may have crashed the pod. And lit it on fire. Jesus. Hey, I'm trying to save innocent lives here, okay? I think a few minor mistakes can be lucked over. Just go ask the doctor. Alright, doctor. Let's see what you got. Doctor, by any chance, did you install something that could help me find electrical current? Yes, actually. I was told to just in case anything that you crash in the pod would happen. But I figured that would never happen. Yeah. It should be in one of your screens. It just keeps flickering between 230 and 400 with the rate of 50 hertz. There you go, you found it. Alright. Thanks, Doc. Well, according to the current finder, I can make a graph. With 50 hertz meaning 50 cycles a second, one cycle would take 0 0.02 seconds. So it would look something like this. Let's check if these graphs match. Whoa, look at that! A match! I just have to write an equation then. To do that, I need to find A, B, H, and K. With 400 being my maximum, and 230 being my minima, I can easily find A with max minus min divided by 2, which equals 85. K can be found by adding the max and min, then dividing that by 2, which equals 315. This is the midline. To find H, we choose a starting point, which will be zero to make things easier for me. That leaves B, which is 2 pi divided by the period. So I need to find the period. Period is found by finding five points, starting with H, and subtracting the start with the end. The answer is always positive, so our period is 0 0.04. Adding that into the equation, we have 2 pi divided by 0 0.04. This equals 50 pi. So A equals 85. B equals 50 pi, H equals 0, K equals 315. Now we figure out if we use sine or cosine. I started above the midline, so we use cosine. Now, putting all the pieces together, we get the equation 85 cosine of 50 pi times x plus 315. Alright, that just got Boris. I found the correct base and already made the equation. Hot ashore, I did very good. Now we can start discussing a plan to sneak in at- <laughs> oh, I got an even better idea. Wait, right and no- Now it's time for Jack to let it rip. Oh god. Oh god, wait, wait, wait.